Hello food lovers, today I have for you a delicious and super moist fruit and nut cake recipe. It's dark, it's rich and it's a perfect mix of flavors. You can make it for Christmas or any time you want a delicious dessert. So let's get started. For this recipe you will need 1 cup of all-purpose flour. You can alternatively use whole wheat flour or spelt flour. 2 teaspoons of baking powder, 1 4 teaspoon of baking soda, 1 8 teaspoon of salt, and spice mix of your choice. Here I'm using 1 teaspoon of cinnamon, 1 teaspoon of nutmeg, and 1 teaspoon of cloves powder. 1 cup of non dairy milk or regular milk, 3 4 cups of oil, here I'm using olive oil. 1 cup of coconut palm sugar or dark brown sugar if you prefer. You can also use jaggery powder. 2 tablespoons of ground flaxseed. If you want, you can use 2 medium sized eggs instead. 2 tablespoons of lemon juice and zest of 2 large lemon or oranges or even a combination of both. For dried fruits and nuts, I'm using 1 cup of finely chopped dates half a cup of raisin, half a cup of candied fruits and peel. Now you can get this candied fruit mix in your local store. Half a cup of finely chopped cashews, half a cup of finely chopped walnuts, half a cup of ground almonds. You can take some almonds, grind it in your food processor or even use almond flour. Now you can use any combination of dried fruits you want. You can use apricots, you can use prunes, you can use cranberries. For nuts, you can use pecans, you can use pistachios. It's totally up to you. But just maintain the quantity. And three tablespoons of alcohol of your choice. Here I'm using some brandy. Now if you want, you can use rum, sherry or whiskey or any alcohol of your choice. So let's get baking. I will start by preheating the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. To a large bowl, add the milk, oil, coconut sugar, ground flax seed, zest of two large lemon or oranges. And lemon juice. Mix it all well. Now to this we'll add the dry fruits and nuts. In goes the dates, raisins, candied fruits, walnut and cashews ground almonds or almond flour mix it again it's really important that you finely chop the fruits and the nuts now that will determine the texture of the cake and i insist that you take a little more time and chop the nuts and the fruits finely rest a sieve on top of the bowl add the flour baking powder baking soda, salt, and the mixed spices that is ground cinnamon, nutmeg, and cloves. Now sifting will get rid of the lumps, aerate the flour, and everything will mix well. Now fold in the flour mix and mix everything until well combined. Try not over mixing it, otherwise the cake would turn dry. Looks pretty good. 
Next, let's prepare the pan. I usually do this ahead of time. Here I have some olive oil. Grease both the bottom and the sides of the pan. Line the bottom with parchment paper. It will make it much easier to unmold the cake. I'm using a nonstick pan, but if you're using a regular one, make sure you prepare it accordingly. Scrape the batter into the prepared pan. And please, please do not mix the batter at this point, because if you notice, it has already started to rise. And so you don't want to deflate it. So this is done, a gentle tap. Now if you want to do a bit extra, top it with more nuts of your choice. Bake it at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about one and a half hour or until a long skewer inserted into the center of the cake comes out clean. Now every oven is different, so check it ahead of time with a skewer just to be sure. You don't want to overbake it. This is done. Now we'll get the cake drunk. So poke some holes on the surface of the cake. Here I'm using some brandy. Gently pour the brandy evenly on the surface of the cake. It's really important for you to do this when the cake is hot. Don't wait for it to cool down. But you can also skip this step if you want. Now let the cake completely cool down. Once it has cooled down, unmold the cake. Wrap the cake thoroughly in a plastic wrap and aluminum foil and place it in a cool, dry place. And don't touch it for the next 6 to 8 hours. What this will do is marry all the flavors together and make the cake super moist. Well, if you are in a rush, you can let it rest for 1 to 2 hours and serve it right after. It's still gonna taste great. Time for the big reveal. Now if you notice, this cake looks darker than before, it looks rich, it looks moist. This is how it should look like. Now this is a super easy, foolproof recipe and I really hope you'll give this a try. All done and ready to eat. I like to enjoy this cake with a hot cup of coffee during the winter months. Enjoy! For the list of ingredients, please see the description box below. If you like this recipe, please share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe.